Hi everybody, thanks for tuning to another episode of Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Hey, thanks for checking me out. So, this one's pretty wild. I'm going to talk about another Mandela effect today. Um, and I see all of them. I'm pretty sure I do. And so this is the next one. So, um, so Lady Gaga saying in front of everybody, the whole world on the... Uh, during the uh, Biden's inauguration, you know, and I said something. I didn't say anything, but I just looked at the pictures and then somebody said, looks like the Hunger Games, like she's wearing the Mockingjay on her shirt. So I thought it was funny and I shared it to my Instagram. The picture is she was wearing white with a black uh, bottom dress. She was wearing white kind of blouse with uh, a black um um, it was the dove. It's a dove with the, with the uh, you know, olive branch in its mouth. And I was like, hmm, okay. So that was a picture of it, and I shared it. And I said, boy, that's funny. It looks like uh, the Hunger Games, and she's wearing a Mockingjay, you know. So anyway, um, <clears throat> and the whole world saw it. So a couple days later, like today, it's only been a couple days, I just looked and everybody was saying, oh, it looks like the Hunger Games. It looks like the Hunger Games. I went and there's a picture of the Hunger Games that looks very similar. And they put it side by side of Lady Gaga. The only thing is now Lady Gaga's wearing black. So it went, her blouse went from white to black. It's a gold uh, dove with the um, you know olive branching gold kind of rising out and she's wearing a red bottom. And in the Hunger Games, there's black and red dress that look very similar with, the, with that whole thing, um, with the uh, Mockingjay. So I said, wow, that changed in front of everybody and no one sees it but me. Uh, because I didn't hear anything about anybody saying it, but I know it was white blouse, black skirt, and the um, black dove. I, you know, it's just like you know, you know. So, about this time, I would think, you know, if I was you and I watched this video, I'd say, hmm, this guy's crazy. Where's his, you know, evidence to back it up? Um, now, with the Mandela effect, you know, if reality changes, you don't get a chance to have, you know, quote unquote, usually evidence and so, and, and unless there's something like a residual, something that, uh, you know, happened. And, um, you know, I don't have residual, but what I do have is I know I'm right. Um, so I'm gonna give you this as a residual instead. Um, and I shared this once before, but I deleted it, but it was the, it was called, um, and a lot of things have been changing, obviously, the Einstein-Rosenberg Bridge. It wasn't Einstein-Rosen Bridge, it was Einstein-Rosenberg Bridge. Now, Einstein-Rosenberg Bridge is when you have two, maybe seen in some science fiction movies, you have two, two parts or disparate parts and one one part is like it's like space time folds over and so when it's folding over do i have, I have a piece of paper it's a low budget show but I have, I have something so when you have you have something like you know it folds over and then when you would punch through from one space time to another you would get an einstein Rosenberg Bridge. It was Einstein Rosen now, but it, it was Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. So that's the difference between one, um, you know, one place and another. They could cross instantaneously through something called like a wormhole. So it'd be an Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. And why am I bringing that up? Um, so the if you Google Einstein. And I was listening to a lecture, and I mentioned this way a long time ago. I was listening to a lecture, and they said Einstein-Rosenbridge. And I said, that's wrong. It's Einstein-Rosenberg Bridge. 
And I looked and everything was changed, you know. And I said, and everybody's telling me, you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. You, you, the whole world is right except me, right? And that's what I would be thinking if I was watching this video. I'd think, this guy's crazy and I'm not going to watch any more videos. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But what I would say to you is this. Go on um, Google. Type in Einstein Rosen, R-O-S-E-N, Berg, B-R-G, space bridge. Just type it in. And then go to books. And I used to find it in in um, for sale and I saved the images. But I don't know if you could find it in shopping anymore. But go to books. About 6th or 7th one down, you're going to see... There's book, and in the book, someone wrote Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. So in the book, um, and you'll see it right away, they reference it, um, that it's still, so there's a residual for Einstein Rosenberg on the internet. Now, you're going to say to yourself, well, you know, the easiest way would be to say, that I would be a liar and then I went and found it somehow and I found that misspelling or that mispronunciation or whatever of Einstein Rosenberg and then um, that's how I came up with this hypothesis because wherever you look you're gonna see Einstein Rosenbridge um, but that's not how it happened that's not it. I know it was Einstein Rosenberg Bridge, and his name uh, Rosenberg is now Rosen in all of history. So it changed. So that's the Mandela effect. And that's my proof that it's out there because it's still out there. And someone else, it, it wasn't like he remembered it like me. What I'm saying is everything changed. And that part, for some reason, didn't. You know, that's what I think. Now, uh, what I'm saying is that the entire, if, if you trust me for that, which I have proof, and I think that's a stronger proof than people saying having more residual, you see. If they have more residual, they have tons of residual, tons of residual. This is, this is different, I think, because having one other, or, or I have a couple other pieces of evidence that show is Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. I do have that. I save screenshots and such of, uh, when you go in shopping, there was um, artwork, and it's Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. And why would someone else remember? They didn't remember that's what it was, and they had it on their artwork that they were selling, Calling the Einstein Rosenberg Bridge. Now, why would I just make up that name and someone else randomly makes up the exact same name? Um, to me, that would be impossible. But what I'm saying is um, either you trust me that I'm right or you don't believe anything I say, which is fine. And you have that right. You have the right to choose, you know, what you want to believe. But for me, the world saw Lady Gaga, who is, I guess, basically Satanist. Is that like well common known now that she was a Satanist and she does all these things with the devil and her videos and everything else where, uh, you know, so if if she comes out and sings in front of the whole world and she's wearing innocent white and then she changes in front of everybody and now she's wearing black and the microphone that she was using now is gold like it's not just that it was like and the microphone matches the the bird and then that matches the um Hunger Games the character in the Hunger Games wearing the same almost looking outfit. If you trust me to know about the Einstein Rosenberg Rosenberg Bridge, then you should trust me for this because I know I'm right. And uh, I'm saying that the whole world is wrong.
And that's, to me, this is a huge Mandela effect. Because the world is all wrong and I'm right. Now, I think uh, because uh, my consciousness is not of this world, it's a higher dimensional consciousness, like... I was saying other people, I think, have that kind of a level where they're able to see these Mandela effects because they have the memory of these things because their consciousness is not trapped in the 3D realm where all these things are changing, you know. But other people have higher dimensional consciousness and so you're connected higher up. And when you're connected higher up, when these things shift around and change, we could actually, you know, the people who are connected are actually seeing it. So I just thought I'd mention that. Um, and this is, to me, this is pretty wild that uh, Lady Gaga's blouse changed in front of the whole world. And as far as I know, I'm the only one that saw the difference. If you watch the inauguration, if you watched her wearing the white blouse in the black bottom part of the dress uh, black dress and the black um, dove with the olive branch in its mouth that was black if you remember that with a regular microphone you know you could comment I doubt you'll remember I doubt you'll have this memory to me it was very vivid I saw it and dare I say I pretty much have a photographic memory for most things. I practice a lot with my memory. I remember up to six digits. Uh, when I see six digits, or s I try to get phone numbers. I try to like memorize them pretty quickly. And then people ask me, oh, I have the memory. It's a very handy thing to be able to get somebody's phone number and memorize it when they tell your phone number and just like, you know, be able to remember all those things. Uh, I don't think a lot of people can do that. Six digits usually is good. And I'll try to remember like three digits separately, you know, or I'll try to remember them in, in sections, um, you know. And um, so I played a lot with memory in um, able to expand my memory, which I think is very important. Um, and I know a lot of people these days, they rely on their phone. They're always taking pictures especially younger people, you're taking pictures of, you know, everything, taking pictures of things. Oh, I can't remember. And then, you know, somebody holds up a business card. Oh, I got it. You know, and you don't need to remember when you're off, you know, using your phone as an augmented tool for your you know, memory. Anyway, um, so I do have a very good memory and I know that it was uh, the way I'm saying it. Now, someone commented, um, Pretty recently to me they said I would comment on your videos Victor and I agree with you on a lot of things you say I really enjoy your videos but I you know I have a life and, and I have a job and I don't want to get in trouble and I don't want people to think I'm crazy you know so here I am showing my face and then being in, in this public forum and talking about it and I'm sure a hundred percent and I'm trying to, you know, build up a business and things like that. I'm sure I would think 100% of everybody would think I'm crazy, you know, that I'm doing this video. Which is fine, you know, but, uh, you know, I put my neck out there, you know, in front of everybody to talk about this. So um, let me know what you think in the comments. Like, subscribe, share. All right. Thank you. And to me, this is a huge Mandela effect. And... Uh, Maybe you didn't watch it. Maybe you're watching. Maybe you missed that. Maybe you're going to watch it on a video later. I don't know if there's residual. And I'm not really interested in searching around for it. Um, don't really care that much. I know what I saw. And I remember things. So um, it was pretty crazy to me. That, um, that she was wearing this outfit that was not really like the Hunger Games. It was a little bit because there was a bird there, you know. And now it changed and now she looks very similar to a lady in the Hunger Games, um, which to me is wild. Like, did she? You would have to think that really she came out on wearing that on purpose now to look like the Hunger Games. So I started thinking, is this because. 
everybody's mass consciousness is affecting reality and everybody's imagined, you know, it was going around the internet a lot that she looks like, um, you know, she's in the Hunger Games and it was a big, you know, went viral with a lot of video, you know, memes and such. And I said, did that change it? But there was enough people watching the inauguration, you would think it'd be the opposite. It would lock her in, you know, talking about the Copenhagen you know, theory about the uh, double slit. So it's just very, very, um, you know, interesting. And I've, again, I'm putting my neck out there in front of everybody saying, hey, look at me, I'm crazy. Because um, Lady Gaga was at the inauguration wearing white and black, black, boom, regular microphone. And now it's all different. Anyway. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you so much. And I have an interesting video ah, I'm going to do later. Um, I think you'll like it. It's about the movie Forrest Gump. And um, I'm going to show you some cool patterns I found in it. When I say patterns, I'm going to show you some pretty neat, neat, neat stuff. And uh, I think it'll blow your mind. Thanks a lot. All right. Check you later. Bye-bye.